An electron moves in a circular path perpendicular to a magnetic field of magnitude 0.24 tesla. If the kinetic energy of the electron is 3.2 times 10 to the negative 19th joules, find the speed of the electron and the radius of the circular path. So we know that the kinetic energy, kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv squared. So we can solve for v, so v is going to equal the kinetic energy times 2 divide it by the mass to the square root. Then we can use the cyclotron equation. The radius is equal to the mass times the velocity over the charge times the magnetic field. So you'll see that the mass times velocity, that's the inertia. We don't really have to calculate that because we're going to calculate the velocity and we already know the mass of, a pro of, a, uh, of an electron. But a, a, a problem could just as easily give us the inertia and we could just plug that in over Q times over over QB. So find the velocity, it's two times three point two times ten to the negative nineteenth. So three point two times ten to the negative nineteenth. Divide it by the mass of, of a proton or of an electron rather, nine point one zero nine times ten to the negative thirty one. And when we take the square root of that, we should get an uh, a velocity of 838195.853 meters per second. So you have an electron moving 83,000 meters per second, or uh, which is really fast. So, um, or it's basically 83 kilometers per second. Now the radius, we're going to take again the mass of the electron. So uh, the mass is uh, is uh, 9.109 times 10 to the negative 31. We're going to take it by, times the velocity, so times 8.38 times 10 uh, times 10 to the fifth, and then we're going to divide that by the charge, which the, the charge on an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th, and we're going to multiply that by the magnetic field, which it gives us is 0.24 so 0 0.24. Now you can literally just plug this into your calculator and get an answer, but it wants the answer in micrometers. So the radius in micrometers. So you got to multiply this whole thing by 10 to the sixth. So whenever you do that, you should get an answer of 19.8839765 micrometers. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.